Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to my channel. As you see, I have baby Elsie here. She has been adopted, and I just got done wrapping all her little gifts for her box packing. Um, I really, really love this paper. I just found it, and I thought it was very fitting for this little princess. And her new mommy is going to be super excited. Um, she is a young lady, um, but I did the transaction with her mommy, so I'm sure she's excited to see this video. Um, I wanted to ship her out yesterday, but I decided, um, since obviously the post office closed on me by the time I got out of the doctors, I went and picked a couple more things up. So I'm hoping that all this stuff is going to fit in the box because I'm trying to keep the shipping costs down. So I'm going to try to use a flat rate large um, box. So cross your fingers <laughs> that we get everything in the box. So uh, just to show you, we have four wrapped gifts, um, some diapers, her passy. There's actually some little barrettes, little tiny ones, and, and her little case. Smelly good thing, her bottle, and some paperwork. I printed out a birth certificate for her, saying since I didn't get a COA. There is some care instructions that I found and copied for her in a card. So, now I'm basically just going to get her ready, as I always do. Um, I'll pause you in between each step. But... In the meantime, please wish this sweet little girl a safe travel to her new mommy. I'm trying to get you a little close up of her. I just absolutely adore this baby's hair. This is one of my favorite hair. I wish I knew what mohair this was because it's super soft and super easy to manage um, and never really tangles. So, beautiful hair. So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap her head and uh, I will be right back. Just really quickly, I just wanted to show the new mommy. I did wrap the cellophane wrap around her head just to keep her hair from rubbing up against the cover and making it frizzy. Um, it still may be a little messed up. Um, I did, by the way, wrap a bottle with conditioner in it. All you got to do is add water and shake it completely. And you can mist that in her hair and just kind of finger her curls. Um, I did give you a brush if it needs to be brushed, though. And then once you brush it, you just finger her curls. All right, I'm going to put her padding on, and I'll be back. All right, guys, as you can see, her little head is super wrapped and protected. And let me get the blanket and bubble wrap on, and then I will see you soon. Okay, so she's ready for the bubble wrap. Okay, I am ready to get her in the box. So let me go ahead and move her over here. And I'm going to grab the box. Okay, so she is in the box. I did line where she is laying from corner to corner with the big green bubble wrap to protect her a little more. Now, what I'm going to try to do is get the presents in around her. Um, this is the biggest one I was concerned about, so I'm going to smash that in there, unfortunately. Try to put that in there. Oh dear, I probably should have put this. I'm gonna have to lay this on top. I should have put it in the bottom, but she's already in here, so I'm not trying to. Okay, I put the bottle down in there. I know that's a tight fit. Not much of a choice. That stuff down in here too. Um, the diapers there. Okay, so I'll put that in there. Let me see. It's going to be definitely a tight fit, um, but it is in there. As I said, I've already put a fragile sticker on the front, um, but I'm going to have to do some maneuvering here. <laughs> To make sure, well, I'm trying to get a better picture of this. Everything stays in. And I had pretty decorations for the top. Those. This is 
not going to be easy. It's way right back up, ain't it? Forgive me. All right, I think we got it. <laughs> that was a workout. All right, so I got this pretty bow. And as usual, I'll try to decorate the box as long as I have time. The post office closed early today at noon, so I got to make sure... I am there in time to get in the door to ship her. So this is going to be one of those where I'm going to have to probably get help to hold it closed type deal. Why I tape. Oh yeah, this is... <laughs> oh yeah, the bow is probably going to stick out a little bit, but that is okay. Um, I should have got some piece of tape ready at least. That now, put that right here. Okay. Now maybe if I tape the inside first, see, I'm afraid to get the bow stuck in the tape. Okay. Oh, come on. that's going to hold. That for extra protection. <laughs> yeah, hopefully they don't give me any problems shipping this. Saying since it is definitely stuffed. Ugh. I'm going to have to get duct tape out. I don't know what I got left as far as decoration, but I feel like duct tape is going to be the only thing safe in my opinion to hold this, but, but yeah. I will make sure I put tons of tape on it, but for the meantime, as you guys know, I will decorate it, take pictures, and I will post that to the end of the video. But, uh, Please wish her a farewell and a safe trip to who, her new mommy. And as usual, thanks for joining me until the next video. Oh, by the way, I do still have some babies available. I'm actually surprised I still have Xander, guys. I've had so many emails for him, but no one has actually purchased him yet. I still have Sally, Nikki Joe, and Maria, I believe, in my full, full body silicone. So, oh. And Owen. So that is who I have left. So if you're looking for a beautiful reborn at a reasonable price and a beautiful box opening, email me guys. All right, till next time. See you later.